All right, hi, this is uh, Dan Payton. I'm here to show you our, our fourth home of our 2000 plus mobile homes that we've flipped over the last 15 to 20 years. So I'm looking forward to sharing this one with you. So let's just jump right into this one. This is a 1998 Liberty. Uh, this is a double wide, it's a 28 by 66, uh, beautiful double wide, uh, set with basically just under 1800 square feet. So a good size home. Uh, very similar to a nice looking ranch home. Uh, it has a pitched shingled roof, uh, which we uh, certainly prefer those. And uh, of course it has vinyl siding. It's, it's, this particular home had some very nice uh, vinyl siding in very good shape. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom. It has a two by six construction. So it was, you know, it's built for the uh, Northern climate and it, because it, it also has that 30 pound snow load uh, roof and wind zone one. So this home can be uh, re relocated to anywhere in the country up, you know, northern Michigan, northern Wisconsin, anywhere in, in Minnesota, that adds extra value and appeal to this home uh, for our buyers out there. And we, we rated this above average condition. Uh, what was included in this home is it did come with central air, uh, a dishwasher, a stove, hitch and axle. So that's gonna make it easier to sell to our buyers who will uh, potentially wanna move the home. Uh, the pluses on this home is the overall condition. You can see by these photos here, whoops. Um, you know, if you look in this uh, lower photo, you can see the uh, interior photo there of the kitchen looks uh, really good. They, this one had really nice countertops, hardwood face cabinets. The outside looked spectacular. So we that was one of the certainly the, the pluses. Uh, the price, we got this at a really good price. We'll show you that when we go through the numbers. And that 30 pound roof load, snow load is a real bonus um, on homes, especially in this part of the country. The minuses, you know, there's a few little uh, cosmetic issues. I'll do that. I'll show you those when we go through the uh, the photo um, uh, tour there. And that photo tour, again, I'm going to take you out to our um, website here. Let me do the escape. I got to do that with my mouse here. So um, let me uh, exit my full screen here. So I'm going to I'm going to go into our photo tour here. Some of these are a little bit blurry. You know, when I, uh, my inspector uh, that inspected this home for me uh, took these photos and some of them are a little bit hard to see, but um, you know, nice looking uh, bathroom. It's got the uh, single piece tub and shower combos in both bathrooms. There's our da uh, uh, HUD data plate decal, gives all the data about the home. Here's uh, some of the, uh, one of the uh, blemishes, this is pretty common actually, these uh, heater uh, vent covers, they're pretty easy to just uh, replace them. Um, this panel here to the garden tub was not secured. So that was something that would need to be, uh, need some attention. Uh, but you know, overall, uh, you know, that carpet's a little dated, a little worn. There's, you know, the walls could certainly use a coat of paint uh, the paint choice here in this uh, kitchen dining area is not one that I would have picked. Um, we find that in a lot of homes where people use uh, some interesting paint colors. This home had a fireplace, but you can see under this window over here, there's some drywall repair that's needed, probably, probably where they left the, the window open and it got a little wet there. Um, again, nice looking kitchen cabinets and countertops. You can see where they painted in here and they didn't pull the fridge out or the stove out rather when they did the paint job. Um, and there's the dishwasher, different view. So that's kind of our photo tour of this home. Uh, that front door, pretty filthy, you know, but it's a, it's a steel door, six panel door, uh, probably could just be painted, but sometimes it's just better to replace them. That isn't going to be our issue with this particular home, but we bought as is and sold as is. So let's get back to our slideshow and finish that up here. Uh, we bought this home. This one, home was located in Fort Wayne, Indiana, kind of in the heart of 
mobile home manufacturing country. This particular home is located in a park. Uh, the seller, um, we were able to get a pretty good deal on this home, we felt, uh, because they were quite motivated. They had just bought their next home, stick built home, and they were getting ready to get into this new mortgage with new mortgage payments. And they didn't want this thing hanging around their neck, uh, lot rent and utilities and things like that. We found this seller uh, through a direct, our direct mail uh, program. You know, they received one of our postcards. So they, they reached out to us, communicated with us. We negotiated a, a price after we inspected the home. Um, and bought it. Our buyer for this home uh, was actually the, the, the host park. Uh, they, we, we presented the home to them. We asked them if they were interested in retaining it, they were. And so we were able to sell it back to the host park. They didn't wanna see the home uh, pulled out of the, out of the community. And we, 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 aren't, we weren't looking at this time at least to, to find a retail buyer in that particular community. We wanted to just really cash out and move on as quickly as we could. So that, let's look at the numbers on this home. We bought the home for 9,000. Uh, felt like we've got a pretty good deal on this one. Uh, we had some additional costs of $1,682. That included some uh, a couple months of lot rent, um, an inspection fee, a few minor things like that. So our total basis, our total investment was $10,682. Over here in our average column, you can see that, that 10,682 is above our average of $6,333. We sold the home for $15,000, uh, which is more than our average. So we had a net margin, profit margin of $4,317. Now our duration on this one was 57 days. It's longer than our average, which is 39 days. Uh, but you know, it was a good outcome for us. Um, very hassle-free. And I, it, it was probably a delayed duration because we had to wait for a payment from the host park. Um, and sometimes, you know, due to their accounting uh, processes, it can take a little bit longer to get paid. Uh, but I like these kind of deals where we sell the home back to the park. It's they're they're clean. Um, there's no animosity typically, and everybody's pretty happy with the outcome. So I, I wanted to introduce you to our uh, two different sites that we use to um, um, make people aware of our of who we are and what we're doing out there in the world. This is our uh, mhomebuyers.com website. This is kind of geared towards the sellers and the owners of mobile homes. We invite them to come to this website to, um, to get a cash offer for their home, uh, to read up about the mobile home industry as a whole. It's a great place for any of you to go and, and just kind of learn more about the mobile home industry, uh, read a lot of our blogs that we, we have new blogs updated weekly. Uh, a lot of really good information on this site. The other site that we support and host is one that's called easyhomesfast.com. This site is more geared towards our, our buyers. So this is where we put our inventory of uh, current, you know, use homes on this site. And this is where we can, uh, you know, our prospective buyers can go in here, click in, they can uh, see the details and, and view photos of our, of our homes they can actually make bids uh, through this site. So those are our two sites that we um, uh, share with the, the, uh, the public out there to, to learn more about us and more about the industry. So this is our uh, fourth of 2000 plus homes we're gonna be uh, showing you uh, over the next months and years. And we look forward to seeing you on the next deal.